Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome to another episode of Solitary Craft. It's been a few days since I actually recorded the last episode. We've run out of fuel, and I've switched to biofuel. Uh, we're almost, we're almost there. It's time to put down the molecular transformer, and I think we're going to need about 19 pieces of the little scenarium parts. We need one for this, and then each of these takes a full one, which is nine of those. So I think we're just going to need 19. I don't know where that guy came from. I bet he walked all the way down. Wow. I haven't bothered to make a magnum torch, so I still have to deal with the occasional mob. Luckily, I saw him out of the corner of my eye there. So we've got a fair amount of iridium right now. What I plan to do is uh, make as many ultimate hybrids as we can, hook them straight up to the molecular transformer, which we're about to grab out of here. I've already crafted all the pieces. And then what I'll do is we'll just feed this thing, we'll turn iron into iridium, and then make scenarium on an as-needed basis, since we don't really need quite as much of it. It takes the same amount of EU to make um, nine scenarium parts as it does to make one iridium. So it's something, you know, we just let go in the background. So we'll do this. We'll make our first ultimate hybrid a little later. And um, then we'll move on to something else. So I'm just going to grab 19 of these. We're going to toss them in here. And this is how much EU we're getting. It's not very much. I actually disconnected all of this stuff for now because, um, well, I don't know that we really, really need it anymore. I'm just 25% uh, of UU, UU away from another Iridium, so I may go ahead and do that. But um, beyond that, I don't know um, how much more effort I'll put into this setup since this thing will do it all for us. We could even make another one, have one constantly running with glowstone and one constantly running with iridium, either way. So I just wanted to get this started. I've got to go do some stuff. My niece was born last night, so I'm going to go see her in the hospital this afternoon. I figured I'd record the intro, uh, this part, and then just let it run for a little while, and then when we're ready to go, we'll throw the ultimate hybrid together, and then... Um, reset all this up to work a little better for us. So I will see you guys as soon as we have 19 scenarium parts. Welcome back everybody. It's been some hours. I don't know how many, but it's been quite a few. I went ahead and threw some iron in this guy to turn it into iridium. We've got a few. And we have all the pieces to make an ultimate hybrid solar panel. I already had, not I went ahead and crafted all of these things because I had to make like, I think it takes a, a stack of the advanced alloys to make one of these. So I just went ahead and did all that. So let's take this. And I'm already set up to make another one though we don't really need to do it right now. The big push for this was that uh, I like to use these to power the, uh, the quantum field rings or whatever for applied energistics. And really beyond nuclear power, there's no, no great way that I'm aware of to generate a ton of EU. These things do really well in the daytime, and the only thing I really know about uh, nuclear reactors is how to blow them up. 
which could be funny for you guys. I, um, I admit that, but, um, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and move this thing. Um, I moved my little setup over here, uh, to give it a little more power, but, um, it really didn't add much. I think one of these puts a, around 200 something EU. Uh, so I think you're limited by the EU adapter itself or what the engineer's toolbox blocks will, will take at a time. Uh, what I want to do, this is 62%. The hybrid has to be near sunlight, obviously, because it's a solar panel. Um, so I'm trying to think where we can put it. I don't know how much glass fiber cable I have in here. Oh, I do have a few. No problem. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just run this underneath and hook it into the bottom. And then we can take these guys offline for now because I don't know that we're really going to need them for much more. Unless we use them to power um, power the other machines, like the compressor and stuff like that. Which I'm going to have to set up some patterns for because I've been doing advanced alloys on my own and it's um, quite the chore. So this is going to make a huge difference, I think. Um, I want to mess around with the um, the spatial, the AE spatial pylons and stuff. So that's another reason I wanted these, because they're pretty mobile power source. So you can see the kind of progress we're making here. It's not much. Once we hook this up, now we're getting much more EU. And the thing moves, it's still kind of slow, uh, but it's faster than it was. Keep in mind, it takes 9 million to make an Iridium ore. So let's make this slightly prettier. I don't know how I feel about the solar panel just sticking off the edge like that. I'll have to try to do something to make it look a little prettier. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and run all the biofuel out of these and then I'll probably um, move the molecular transformer and the solar panels somewhere else. Um, I, what I may do is actually make another molecular transformer, have one for the scenarium and one for the iridium. So while that was... Um, doing what it needed to do, I went ahead and made some Imperial and Industrious Bees. Um, item ducts are really awesome for apiaries because uh, they only put items, they only take them out if there's a destination for them to go, and they put the things in the closest destination, so um, I have just left these cycling. My frames have died. Um, the combs and the jelly and the pollen in this one, they all stay in the apiary and only the bees get taken out and then inserted again. So I went ahead and bred up to these guys. I want to do some other bees uh, specifically. Let me look at my page over here. <clears throat> I want to do the platinum the, the, the bee that gives you platinum comb, it's a valuable bee uh, because we can turn that into the shiny, um, the shiny dust or shiny ingots, whatever we need for the Enderium blend. Uh, I also wanted to do one other one. There's one that makes a Certus comb. I don't know where it is over here. Um, there are a couple that make, uh, one that makes oily, one that makes petroleum comb. Um, 
it's a 60% chance that you get the propolis from the comb and each propolis will give you a half a bucket of fuel. So my goal would be if I could make an always day miscraft age or make the bees diurnal, which means they work during the day and at night both, basically working around the clock, uh, what I would hope to do is uh, make a bee base that would run solely on bee products and give us bee products to use for the other things we need. There are also ones that make um, uh, ender dust. That's not it. I forget which one it is. Uh, if you right click these and scroll over it tells you what you get from each of them of course. Um, a lot of the ones that I normally did for Greg Tech are fairly useless uh, because I don't I don't do a lot with rotary craft. I may revisit that. Like I said, I had problems with it last time. Um, but now that we have royal jelly, I already snagged a couple. Uh, we can make industrial apiaries. And I actually have had a chance to play with these. I really like them. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Actually, let's do it this way. So here's how these work. You've got your industrial apiary. It takes 2MJ a tick by default. Uh, these are all the upgrades. The one that I like the most is the production upgrade, which is this one. You can see the max installed is 8. And it increases production by 20% and energy consumption by 20%. So 2MJ plus 160%. I mean, it's probably somewhere around 5MJ, give or take, which isn't bad if you think about it. So I wonder if we can make a few of these. I want to make 16 of them. Because I have two industrial apiaries. I'll probably run out of sugar or something before I get there. Oh, sweet. How well did that work out? So we'll take both of these guys. The recipe has been fixed. Um, now you can see the, um, the other glasses are showing up as valid recipes. If you've got the bronze, it's really pretty cheap. Uh, and you can make the casing out of regular ingots, not the item casings. So these just need power. And since I haven't put anything on the bees as far as cave, cave dwelling, there is one of these that will let them work in the thing. It's the open sky upgrade. It's actually not too expensive. Let's make a couple more of those and we'll make two of those because um, I think that is probably easier than running conduit everywhere. Although I have conduit right here, so it really, we'll just run it with that conduit. Let me find some leadstone conduit and we'll do this. All right, so this is really handy because I don't have to worry about crafting frames, having the resources to craft frames, or any of that nonsense. I can just put the bees down uh, in these industrial apiaries, and they work like a, like a charm. It's, they're so awesome. So let's run some conduit over here. And we'll put the apiaries right here. We'll put eight of our upgrades in here and eight of them in here. And then we'll put our stuff in here. I think I may go ahead and make the lighting upgrade. I'm not sure what it costs, but I'm fairly certain we have the resources for that. It's just glowstone. So that is pretty easy. 
So I could make a bunch of these. It's easier to make one with um, make a miscraft age with no weather. Well, it may or may not be easier. Now you can see that there's a check mark up here. I'm not even sure if you need to put uh, the flower near it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it down. I guess I better kill that guy. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. I'm having a hard time seeing things today. What did we get from that? I need to read up on ours. I don't know enough about it to actually do anything in an episode. All right, yeah, you actually do have to have the flowers. It also tells you the energy requirement, 9MJ. I was way off on that one. Yeah, way off. So let's take it out, put it back in. Now we have our check mark again. And as long as it's not raining, these guys should work. See, look at that. We already got royal jelly and we already got pollen over here. So I miscalculated. This conduit is not going to be quite enough. So they're not going to work as efficiently. And this actually says not enough power. So we are going to have to put these guys inside. Not a huge deal. I just wanted to try it out. Uh, we will still need the lighting upgrade because uh, whether you're inside or outside, the bees really don't care. They know when it's nighttime. And even if they're inside in a lit area, or even if it's raining and they're inside, they, um, they're not going to work right. Let's put them up here. How about that? So we're going to have to... I think my conduit's running through the floor right there. What's on the other side of this wall? Nothing. Good. Okay. And I can just put some covers on the bottom of this. So that's cool. So we'll just put these guys right on top of the machines we use to breed them. It's probably not a bad idea to have one in here anyway. We'll do our light upgrade and we're going to have to plant the flower, of course, somewhere. Didn't consider that. And I don't have a terminal in that room. I don't even have a flower. We'll just pop one in there for the time being. And which upgrade are we actually going to need? Let's see. We'll need two more of those and the open sky right let me grab a flower and these guys should work no problem and for now let's just put it Actually, I think we can put it in a dirt block right there, and it'll be close enough. I should have put it in a pot, a flower pot. All right, sky is no longer obstructed. Now we have plenty of power, and we've got all our upgrades in here. Uh, I'm also getting an, an effect, a regen effect. I think it's from the Imperial. I don't remember. So I'm going to work on a place to put apiaries. I'm going to go ahead and crossbreed the bees. I need to crossbreed. And I'll just kind of work on that while I'm working on other stuff. And once I've got that going, um, then I'll show you what I've got.
and how I've got it set up. And I'll also, of course, keep working on the Iridium so I can make many more hybrid solar panels uh, just because, I mean, they're a lot more expensive. It's a lot more involved process now, but they're worth it. And um, it's not as quote unquote cheaty as some people have said. So that'll do it for this episode, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, like I've said before, if you have any um, mods that you want to see focused on, also leave that in the comments too. Um, I've kind of been going on my own to try to find new ways to do things differently than I've done in the past, like with the engineer's toolbox and stuff. Um, but some of the mods, I'm not even really aware, like what's in the pack in total. And I don't know what a lot of the mods are capable of. Probably don't even know what some of them do in the first place. So if you have any suggestions, by all means, please leave them down below. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.